two U.S. diplomats testifying in public for the first time on allegations President Trump delegated U.S. foreign policy in Ukraine to his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, to advance his personal political interests. I found a confusing and unusual arrangement for making U.S. policy toward Ukraine. There appeared to be two channels of U.S. policymaking and implementation, one regular and one highly irregular. Taylor and George Kent, a senior State Department official in charge of Ukraine, told House lawmakers Trump cared more about Ukraine's help with investigations into political rival Joe Biden and his son than in releasing $400 million in congressionally approved military aid to Ukraine. The questions presented by this impeachment inquiry are whether President Trump sought to exploit that ally's vulnerability and invite Ukraine's interference in our elections whether President Trump sought to condition official acts, such as a White House meeting or U.S. military assistance, on Ukraine's willingness to assist with two political investigations that would help his reelection campaign. And if President Trump did either, whether such an abuse of his power is compatible with the office of the presidency. The president downplayed their importance. There's nothing there. I see they're using lawyers uh, that are television lawyers. Trump was referring to the Democratic legal counsel who handled some of the witness questioning. In your decades of military service and, and diplomatic service representing the United States around the world, have you ever seen another example of foreign aid conditioned on the personal or political interests of the President of the United States? No, Mr. Goldman, I've not. Republicans also used a lawyer to question witnesses. But the Republican argument against impeachment was summed up by Trump's chief congressional ally. President Zelensky had to commit to an investigation of Biden's before the aid got released. And the aid got released and he didn't commit to an investigation. Mr. I was not wrong about what I told you, which is what I heard. That's all I've said. I've told you what I heard. And that's the point. What that's you heard did not happen. It didn't happen. The support of the American people, who in public opinion polls have increasingly favored Trump's impeachment, is exactly what Democrats hope to win over by holding these public hearings. Impeachment is a political process. The Constitution puts it in the political branch. So it's important that if the House is going to impeach and the Senate convict or not, that the public be behind them. The committee will hold public hearings with nine more witnesses through the end of next week. The U.S. House of Representatives is expected to hold a full floor vote on articles of impeachment by the end of the year, a move that would trigger a trial of President Trump in the U.S. Senate to decide whether he should be removed from office. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Capitol Hill.